we advance the neural link devices, you should be able to actually have full body control and sensors from an Optimus robot. So you could basically inhabit an Optimus robot. It's not just the hand, the whole thing. So you could like basically mentally remote into an Optimus robot. And another thing that can be done also is for people that have say lost a limb, lost an arm or a leg or something like that, then we think in the future we'll be able to attach an Optimus arm or legs. I remember that scene from Star Wars where Luke Skywalker gets his hand chopped over the lights and he gets a robot hand. And I think that's the kind of thing that we'll be able to do in the future, working with Neuralink and Tesla, so that it goes far beyond just operating a robot hand, but replacing limbs and having the whole body robot experience. Another thing that we possibly think is very likely in the future is to be able to bridge where the damaged neurons are. So you can take the signal from the brain and transmit that signal past where the neurons are damaged or strained to the rest of the body. So you could reanimate the body so that if you have a Neuralink implant in the brain and then one in the spinal cord, then you can actually bridge the signals and you could walk again and have full body functionality. Obviously, that's what people would prefer, to be clear. We realize that would be the preferred outcome. And so that even if you have a broken neck, I'm actually, at this point, I'd say fairly confident that at some point in the future, we'll be able to restore full body functionality.